Hey guys, I just want to refresh my hair. This is how it's currently looking like. <laughs> I'm just supposed to shoot, um, what is it called? An episode of Perspective and I'm waiting for mom. Um, so I'm just going to refresh this hair and then we'll try the egg muffins that I've made. Zimmy overflow, but you know what? I think they'll taste nice. But I'll update you guys on that. So for this hair, the way to refresh it is using um, mist. You don't want to dip it fully in water because it will start shrinking. And since this is human hair, I've not been taking care of this hair. I'm sleeping with a bonnet and it's still okay. I shikani sana. Nata kishikana. We have this. So I'm just going to sprinkle a bit. I think we can already see the difference. This side, this is how it's looking. And this side already with a bit of mist, this is how it's looking. La, 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 la. So Hilary is gonna do for us the review for the eggs. I usually have an egg ache, guys. I sometimes I just don't want eggs, they just feel like they smell bad, they taste bad, and sometimes I crave it. So Hilary is gonna tell us. Tell us. Mm -hmm. First impressions. Look at that browning. Look Can you adjust? Browning. How is it? Mm. Oh, this is really good. Like it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, this is so good. It's good. It is so good. Guys, this is day one of my wake up classes. Although on Mesha Kula, so my lipstick is already going, and we've been in the sun for quite a while. I think it's been like an hour, an hour or so, and it's so hot. But this is how the makeup is looking. She did my right side, I did my left side, and I think I've tried. I know you can see the different ones over there eyebrows but i think i did a good job i'm so excited makeup city is amazing so i'll catch you guys on the following days i'm doing this for a week so you'll be seeing a different person you'll be seeing a body you know i'm so excited for this new chapter in my life i feel like i'm becoming a new person a different person yeah but i like everything so far but she told me you know we learn different things and see like how do i like my eyebrows do i like them thick do i like them thin i think i'll prefer them thinner and all that jazz but anyway i'll keep updating you guys good morning guys it is day two of kate going to her makeup classes it is me investing in myself like isn't it crazy from pilates to no makeup classes what am i gonna do next for myself i don't know i don't know but it feels absolutely amazing i never knew i could invest in myself that so much honestly right like just in myself, not at the work wise or like the way we invest in equipment. That 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 you normally do. But for me, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I told you guys it's a season of choosing myself and I absolutely love it. So let's go to day two. I think today we're gonna she said when I enter the first thing I'll do is do my eyebrows again. But she asked me whether I wanted to trim them. I think I'm gonna trim them or maybe just make them thinner because i don't like i didn't like the thick eyebrows and i think we're gonna do like more colored eyeshadow she's also supposed to teach me like contouring and all that good stuff i'm so excited it was fun actually it didn't feel like the two hours oh, actually it was more than two hours <laughs> more than the two hours it was but anyway la, la, la. <laughs> It was nice. Did you like it? Yes. The shade when you went outside. Yeah, the shade match. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Did it last? Yeah. Today, what time did you remove? Well, get us me. See, toy. I'm like, what did you see? Really? Yeah. Did she like it? Yeah, she liked it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Some things that I need to say to you. The truth 
Hello guys! It is day three of going for my makeup classes. Um, yesterday was quite interesting. I did my eyebrows myself, all of them. Um, I think I tried. And you'll see if I'm, I'll do a better job today. Yes, I did learn how to do, put on my own lashes. That was a horrific experience. I don't know if I'll be able to be doing my own lashes, honestly. But I think I'll just continue with the... What is it called? Um, which one? The individual lashes. Yeah, but I think if I have my, the individual lashes, I can't really do like a really big eyeshadow look but i'm really looking to do next like soft girl makeup but anyway we'll see i'll update you guys um yeah so let's go to day three i know today i'm gonna do most of the things myself um so it's i'm a bit nervous just a bit yeah but so far the classes have been amazing things you do yeah just like how sign my chest i feel like i can't lose 10 out of 10 you turn my gray skies blue you know just what to say to make everything okay how do you do it make me feel like i want a commitment pulling me close i can't refuse it guys this is Today's look, very simple. I did everything by myself. These eyebrows, they look quite stress today. I think I spent like 30 minutes on them, but I think I like them this thin. Remember the first time the way they were so thick? I think I prefer this um, this shape. Um, we didn't put lashes today. Um, as you can see, no highlights, uh, no blush. I think I like this look more, like very toned down. But yeah, this is today's look. Although in I had some just like a lip gloss so very toned down look for today but i like it i think i like it so today was my fourth class i enjoyed it i'm learning so much um only have one more class left and makeup city has been amazing she's taught me really really well i recommend as you can see when you may grow so fast and <laughs> the podcast that we recorded with sharon wangi for her podcast the best kept secret podcast is out that's what i'm watching guys i'm just like yeah you'd think i was not there but i was so we are watching it and it's nice if you've not watched it it's linked down in the description it's a very um nice conversation it's about raising daughters mom wounds trauma fostering healthy relationships with moms if you like our daughter conversations make sure you watch this episode so good and i'm so happy sharon was invited us i've just been saying oh my god thank you for having us thank you for having us thank you for having us uh so i'm just gonna watch it and you know continue the rest of the day but this is a look hello guys today there's no makeup today there's no makeup but today is a special day i am doing my annual thanksgiving stroke friends giving but for this year it's mostly family <laughs> only having family although i'll not have my mom there but this time hilary is actually family part of his family will be there which is so nice because i feel like every time we do such things we barely involve hilary's family so this is a new thing and i'll be I'll have Debbie there. I think Debbie has been there since the beginning of the first one. The first one that we did, we did it at my mom's house a long time ago. I think it was 2019. I think we have a picture of it. We'll insert it here. Isn't it crazy? Eh, I did not know I was keeping it up for this long. But I'm super excited. Um, it's just going to be an amazing dinner. We have a chef coming. Uh, we've rented out an Airbnb as well. And I'm super excited for this one. I think we'll just be thanking uh, the people who have been consistent in our lives, who have really helped us this year. Uh, it's just a way of us appreciating them. Yeah, which is... I'm excited. Hilary, are you excited? Very. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's it. So we need to leave right now. Go see the house properly. Do a cute setup. And I'll show you guys just the whole process. But I'm super, super excited. So... I hope this inspires you to, you know, 
thank the people in your life who have been consistent the whole year who have been there for you a chance for you to also give thanks to god for letting you come until the end of this amazing year and everything you've been through like just take this moment to be thankful for all that you have and the people that are around you let's go fried eggplant dumpling. Um, I call it a dumpling uh, because I've borrowed the contents from Middle Eastern cuisine. Hello guys, I am heading to the final day. The final day of makeup. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like, hey, you may realize makeup is a lot of work. It's not easy. Everyone makes it look so easy. But it takes a lot of time and it's a lot of work. And it's like being an artist, you know? You need some creativity. Like, it's a lot, but anyway. Let's go. Trying to keep you under my skin. My patience is running dry, but this feeling is hard to hide. hide. Mm -hmm. I, had to, I had to get it off my chest. I had to see just what comes next. Guys, it's been a while since we scared the sound of Toronto in the background. Can you hear it? Can you hear the machinery? The manualness. <laughs> Why are you mocking me? Why are you mocking me? Why? How have I mocked you? I was talking about Terano. Yes, you know, we are one. You can you cannot miss hearing Terano, guys. You cannot. At a home ownership apartment, there is a sound that it has that you just know it is the Terano. But anyway, guys, we are headed to parties, and it's been almost like three weeks, you know, I'd say since my last session. So I hope. I'm not gonna struggle too much. That's what I'm hoping for. Felt like my heart was under arrest. Gotta say I'm impressed. Didn't know what to expect. Who cares if it seems like I'm chasing you? But who else knows you better than I do? I do, I do, I do, I do. I do, I do. I need you to know that I'm so into you. Baby, stay. I'm not going away. Like super glue. I told my friends, now I think they want you to. Good to go. Absolutely love it. Anyway, guys, let me just show you. This jumpsuit, I really like the back of it. Like. And this is also how the hair is looking, still flowy, and it's not tangled. Anyway, yesterday Pilates was great. It was great. Um, I got an Apple Watch as a gift, so I was able to use it and keep track, like, you know, of my heart rate, how many calories, and all that, which I really like. I can't wait to see, like, 
in a month uh, the progress of Pilates through the watch um, and then we went to we went to my mom's house and we shot an episode of Perspective we didn't upload any episode last week so at least we were able to do that and what else oh, right now I'm getting ready to go get my nails done I'm going to get some Christmassy nails I'm so excited I'll show you guys <laughs> how they look after um, these nails see how much they've grown but these like they've not bent as they bent kabisa they they are still completely intact like zimeka sana I got these nails done when I don't remember but it's been a month already look at them yeah Alex nail pimp did them guys I'm headed uh, to see the nail tech. He's usually at Spritz. Mm, yeah, that's the only. That's the only update. Let's get the what done. The nails done, and then I'll catch up with you guys later. But I'll go to war. Cause I don't play that with you. Are you listening to me? Let me clear what's on your plate. Checking your movement. I think that I can get you to it. Cause this feels like one in a million. Placing you at the top of my list. Mm -hmm. Sick of waiting for you and I. Can't fake this. I don't need to lie. Yeah. Lie. You heard him. I had, to. I had to get it off my chest. I had to see just what comes next. Felt yeah. like my heart was under oh, arrest. Ho, ho. Gotta say I'm, I'm impressed. impressed. Know what to expect. Who cares if it seems like I'm chasing you? But who else knows you better than I do? Hello, guys. It is Pink Friday to Friday. Like I've been listening to Nikki's album the whole morning and I'm going to try uh, listen to it while I'm doing Pilates. Hopefully if uh, my airport will not fall off. I'll just have one in one year and then hopefully I'll be able to listen to the instructions from the instructor properly. I feel like I'll be, I might be too distracted but I feel like it's going to give me energy, a burst of energy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway, I also have an event today after Pilates. So for the first time, I'm going to use the bathrooms, which I'm excited for as well. I've never used the bathrooms here. Even just to go to the toilet, I've never gone. So that's what my Friday is looking like today. Today's just going to be a good day because of Nikki. Like, I'm so happy. For those of you who know me, you know my bab. So <sighs> I hope we get this album to number one. She deserves it. <laughs> anyway, let's go for class today. Cause baby like Friday till I think I think I have a top five. I do. I think number one is Bobby Dangerous and then Falling for You and then other one? Cowgirl. I really like Cowgirl. <laughs> and then I like Beep Beep. I like when she says Beep Beep. You know, if I don't know you, <laughs> is that beef? We're having issues and I don't know you. Is that beef? Does it make sense? And then, right now, current thing number five is R and B. So good. Anyway, so I think I'm going for Pilates, and then I told you guys I'm going for an event. So the event was actually for Body Shop. They're opening a store in Sajit, and I went, and I was able to get. Ah, 
cute package that I wanted to unbox with you guys. So let's see what's inside. This is a thank you card. We have a cute loofer. <laughs> and then we have um, pink grapefruit soap. How it looks like. I love the packaging, it looks so cute. And then we have this is a body butter. The Body Shop Body Yogurt Moringa from Normal to Dry Skin 48 Fast Absorbing Moisture. I do have <laughs> my skin's actually normal to dry. Oh, it smells really nice. It actually, you know, when I've read Moringa, I thought it's gonna smell very like hubby, but it smells really, really nice. This is how it looks. Such a cute package. And then we have. Oh, we have a fragrance, guys. This is uh, the Body Shop Body Mist Satsuma Refreshing Fragrance. Right. Oh, it's very citrusy. The smell is very citrusy. This is so cute. So it looks like so cute. Right? Yeah, so that was what was in the package, which is so nice. A soap and a fragrance. This fragrance actually smells really nice. So fresh. And then, um, so the following day, which is actually yesterday, my mom and I went car shopping. I've been looking into getting a car. Uh -huh, but tell us. I'm saying this car is clean, I just had an accident. Mm -hmm. Maybe being scrapped, I love how I can but you can tell a car that has had an accident. Then this one is clean. Maybe let me to make up. This cars always have a zime to make up. So this is where the driver is always coming in. Oh, this so this seat. part, mm, most cars would have put a zime up as Michapa. Because all the time the driver goes in and out. Yeah. Mm. That is the most used seat in the car. And after you go, okay, from there, even you can tell if it's coming in for an accident. If you get it visually and all that. Mm. And then when you. When you start the car, you can hear when it's really quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. Mm. Come again, are you seeing the boots? No, the boots is back. Allah, actually, did you see this? When I put on either, I'm going to replace these bolts. So, who? Yes, I'm going to replace now. You can see, no, no. You get a new so who can learn it? So you can. Gong Road, actually, we're in Gong Road, and mom is doing such a great job. Like the way she still remembers about cars because she used to work in the car industry. The way she can spot a hit car is so crazy, like she can spot it from a mile away. So she's helping me so much. Like, I'm just looking at her and I'm like, wow, wow, you know, wow. ah, amazing. I'm amazed. Yeah, so I don't know if you're going to go to Kiambu Road, we're supposed to, but I don't think so. But so far, it's been an interesting experience i'm so happy that i have mom otherwise i'm going to mention what got him by at this point okay. after the car shop we went to sarit we went to homebox and woolworths and mom was also getting some pretty flowers from our store the store is literally opposite browns there are some really nice flowers that they have that mom really wanted so mom put them i think they are bought like 300 and then we went to also woolworths woolworths inside it has like a home section so they have really nice cups and plates they even have pots and pans and i was looking to see because i wanted i need more pots and i was thinking of changing my pink plates but i'm not sure but it's a bit pricey i think like the plates that i wanted was like 1200 each it doesn't come I don't know if you get it as a set or you just pick one one to make your own set. But I entered home box and I realized we needed um like post so at post what are they called soap dispensers? If I'm not wrong because we've been reusing uh those 
plastic ones. It looks really bad. Nah. So I got two. This is how <laughs> it looks like. I really like this. I feel like it looks really nice. It's very unique. I do want to get the white ones like with a, what is it called? Like a wooden top. I do want to get such. I think like everyone has that one. I feel like this is very, very unique. So I got two and each was 700. Like I really like it. I feel like it's so so pretty yeah so i got two yeah that's it for my little unboxing i will catch you guys later i hope you're enjoying the vlog so far make sure you're liking please just pause and like the video thank you oh and also guys this hair finally spritz has posted it and they've posted the pricing and we are literally now in the fourth week and look at how good it looks and this is when it's dry when it's wet it looks okay some people prefer dry look wet look me I prefer this dry look but if i want to refresh it i just need to put water all on it just shake and it's just like it's human hair so just water if it in some way gets detangled which it hasn't so i only put water if i want like a a wet a wet nice look but this is how it's looking dry and since it's human hair it's reusable like a two hour of the yeah so check out spritz to see the pricing and the different lengths as well you know if you want because i think this length is it's okay but i should have gotten longer longer and then after we went for a little a little a little date at a new restaurant called bamba and i really enjoyed the food the cocktails were hitting the food was actually good. We were actually trying to compare all the pizza between Bamba and Cultiva. There's a pizza called Mr. Miyagi. If you have a good Cultiva, please order that pizza. So I think now it's still Cultiva and then now Bamba. <laughs> I did not even show you our Christmas uh, decor, but this is a garland that we wrapped around the mirror and we added lights. We have some of oh, these lights that we got from Jumia, and then we have this that us on the quad that Hillary got from his mom. But I feel like it looks so cute, <laughs> it's been giving all the festivities, all of them. And then we have our Christmas tree right here that Hillary is the one who put up because I was not in the mood of Christmas I really wasn't but this is how the Christmas tree is looking like and this has to be my favorite absolute favorite ornament like it does feel like it's a real real candy and I love the colors that it has like I love it hello guys how are you we have come to the end of the vlog but I do have a few things to do. I am putting together Debbie's gift. I uh, remember most of you. No, actually, yeah. Actually, I think most of you remember I used to do gift box swaps. Gift box swaps to Debbie. But we haven't been able to do it in a couple of years. Just because our schedules have been crazy. So I have a box here. I think I'll show you those on the side. Because I'm also recording 
like for Instagram. So I'm gonna put this at the base. And I'll show you guys the things that I got her. Ooh. Okay, so first things first, I got this set from Body Shop. I have a strawberry shower gel, this one. And then we have the British Rose body yogurt. And then we have the Love and Hum, ah, Love and Plums, <laughs> juicy and refreshing fragrance. And I don't know if you guys can see, I'll try shake it. It has like um, glitter. I don't know if you can see that. has like glitter bits so cute and and then the next things are this to miniature mm, rather test <laughs> testers for uh, Versace perfumes we have bright crystal and uh, Dylan turquoise yeah this too so she can test and maybe if she likes them she can purchase so like they're so tiny you see how my hand is and then they're this tiny they're so cute actually <laughs> watch anyone shake this i'll open it properly i'll open it slowly this is how tiny it looks and i feel like it's so cute how cute is this funny thing guys i've always wanted to have like a a collection of such miniature perfumes i think i'm going to start next year and then i got her this cute humidifier this humidifier is from a page called kiopta i get out of cases from there as well so it's so cute i remember she had she had seen me with it and she was like i really want it so i got her one like it's so tiny and cute and then from the same page as well, I did get her two cases for her phone. So we have this one, which I think is so cute. And then we have this one as well, both from Kyopta. I actually got a couple of things from Kyopta for her. Yeah, so we have two cases. I also got her some jewelry pieces one is like what i have now this big dupes i don't remember which brand is one that started with them but i got her silver got them in silver and of course like what i have in gold and then finally i got her this set they're like hoops but it's not like a perfect hoop like they have they're rolling, rolling. And then I will be adding one of my absolute favorite lip glosses. They're from Essence. This ones. I really like them. I did get for myself and for her. So this is how they look like. Let me bring them closer. Yeah, these juicy balm uh, lip glosses. I absolutely love them. And then also from Essence, I have this. I know they have their popular mascaras, but I also got this. I'd got some for myself and decided to get others for her as well. So I also added this too. And then this, the gloss. This is the Extreme Shine gloss. This is how it looks like. So I'm adding those. Finally, actually from Kyopta, the gloss, the essence actually from Essence website, but I also got her this uh, small jewelry box, <laughs> this tiny one, in this color. So I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it on top actually. 
So Debbie recently graduated and I took some pictures with her during her graduation and some with her family and I just printed them out from my portable print Instax print uh, to print Polaroid. So we have this one that I took with her, this with her whole family, me and her again, her alone. Like they're so cute. So I'm just going to add this as well. What I like to call, is it even accessories? <laughs> yeah, it's basically, ah, stationary, stationary. So Debbie is a corporate galley and she does a lot of desk work. So I got her this multicolored set for papers and files. I got this from China Square, which I think is so cute. So many different colors. Um, I also got her some highlighters or is it mark pens? You know, these are highlighters, this set of highlighters, also from China Square. And then I got her a set of these <laughs> pens. I really love the color, and I don't think anyone else has in the office. So, also from China Square. I also got a bunch of sticky notes. These ones are really, really bright, and I feel like this work perfectly. But of course, I had to get a cute version as well for her and also he, this is Hilary's what is it called Hilary this is what she added in this whole entire thing this sticky note <laughs> this is Hilary's contribution mm -hmm. so yeah I got her that and then finally of course a notebook this is just a, a basic notebook that she can you know write work things or things she needs to do because I know she does write a lot and it's covered in plastic so what I keep at a magic it's fine I also got this from China Square quite affordable so guys I had forgotten this one more thing so it's this bag. I got this from an Instagram page called Misfits. Misfits. So this is the bag. This is how big it is. Like can nobody tell me nothing? Hey, can tell me. <laughs> Let me show you guys why I'm close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the Christmas festivities. This is how big it is. Like, how nice it is. Maybe I should have even bought for myself as well. Because it's so big. I feel like she can fit everything. At a laptop, you need a sharper. Can it? I'll test, but I think so. I was about to say, Auntie Debbie, if you're watching, I know she's watching. I know she's watching. This is a happy birthday, happy graduation, happy Christmas, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, happy New Year. All in one, okay? All, this is all you get, babes. This is all you get. <laughs> but I really had to make sure I get her something because Debbie has been amazing to me all through the years we've known each other as friends. She's always stuck by me and she's somebody i know i can depend on um yeah so it's i just feel like it's this is a good way of me to celebrate her and i know she's gonna appreciate and i'm happy some of these things are actually very thoughtful and useful so she can use them and you know apply them in her daily life and maybe they can make her daily life better but baby why would you share the same birthday with the combos, yeah? Okay, so the same day, but it's basically the same day. Basically. Like, at least in January, though. At least in January. But yeah, um, this is the end of the vlog now completely. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you for supporting me throughout 2023. Thank you for being with us here. Thank you for always cheering me on, for understanding the multiple times I was not able to be consistent because of the things I was going through. I hope my vlogs were, you know, helpful or 
made a, you know at least a small change in your life or entertained you in one way or another i have promised actually on instagram that this time i will try to be more consistent in this coming year it's just some things uh that were out of my control that was not as consistent as i'd want to be yeah even hilary says thank you so much for the support uh for the people who know hilary and our history with hilary <laughs> He said, thank you for being there. Thank you, know? you for being there. Hey, that's one that's one game scare. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much, guys. I wish you uh are we uploading this before Christmas or on Christmas Day? Actually, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a happy, happy new year. I can't wait to see the things that you create and how we interact with each other in 2024. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thank you. For liking sharing subscribing i am just so grateful for you guys thank you thank you so much bye